How's it going guys? Chips here with you again, back with another Ark Let's Build video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to build this large garden that you see in front of you now. And this is based off of something that Syntax did in one of his most recent Let's Play videos with some changes to make it my own, as well as to make it work on official settings because he plays on an unofficial server with mods. But if you want yours to look as close as possible to his with official settings, I will be showing you as we go some things that you can do to get his version instead of mine. So with that said, for those of you who are new to the channel, this is going to be a step-by-step -step walkthrough video with really easy to follow along voiced over instructions so you can get this build on your arc. And for all of the building materials you will need as well as the map cords where I built this, I'll leave those in the description below. But anyways guys, with all of that said, I just want to tell you thank you so much for being here today, checking out this video, and let's go ahead and let's get to building. All right, so the first thing we need to do is lay down the foundations for our outer ring. So we're going to start off by placing five adobe foundations. Next, we're going to go ahead and add nine adobe triangle foundations. And then once we've done this, we're just going to continue this process, this kind of pattern until we reach our start point. So go ahead and add five more normal foundations and then nine more triangle and just continue to do that, like I said, until we reach the start point. And then once you have this done, just go ahead and switch all of those normal foundations to block. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and build up the foundation for the centermost part of the build. Now, he might have either eyeballed this to get it in the center or he might have done something like we're about to do. So what we're gonna do is come in here to the side that's gonna be our entrance and we're gonna come to this middle foundation on the inside of the build. We're gonna take out six thatch foundations from that middle one. Now we're gonna go to the opposite side of the build and do the same thing from this middle foundation. So there we go. Now in the, on the side of this foundation right here, we're going to place a wooden fence foundation down on the ground. So just like this, add another one going angled inward to the center of the build like this, and then place one more coming straight to the center of the build like that. Do the same thing over here. And what this is going to be is this is going to sort of act like a guide for us to line up this adobe triangle foundation so we're going to go ahead and get one out and basically you just want to kind of make this as center as possible to these two wooden fence foundations and you also want to line up the tip right in the middle of those so i think this right here will be good enough about right in there we'll go ahead and place that down and then check it and it looks like it's pretty much center with our foundations on the point there so we're going to go ahead and add five more attached to that. And then before we cover them up, go ahead and destroy these wooden fence foundations. Then what we're going to do is right here, we're going to place a Adobe foundation and then an Adobe triangle foundation. And just continue to alternate through these until you surround the center part. Then with all of that placed, go ahead and switch those regular foundations to block. And you can also go ahead and destroy these thatch foundations. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is add that middle ring of foundations that he was using for crop plots. So what we're gonna do is head inside here and go to one of our sides that is made out of triangle foundations. And on this last one right here, we're gonna place two thatch foundations coming inward from this. Then we'll go ahead and place a triangle foundation right here in front of it and then add six more to the side. Now on each end of this triangle foundation row, we're going to add one regular foundation. Now we'll go ahead in front of this triangle foundation right here, we'll place one more thatch foundation, add another triangle foundation, and then four more to the side of it. Now lastly, we'll just go ahead and place three more right here. 
Now we're going to go around the build and do this on every side that has the triangle foundations. Now that you have all of those foundations placed, you can just go ahead and destroy all of your thatch foundations and switch all of the regular adobe foundations to block. All right, so now we're gonna start adding our pillars to our outer ring. So here on the side that's gonna have our entry, we're gonna go into this left normal foundation right here and place a wooden fence foundation on top of it and then add three adobe pillars here on this side. Go to the right foundation and do the same thing. And then we're just going to go around the entire outer ring and do this on every side that has the normal foundations. All right, so now that we have that done, we're gonna head to the inside here and on the inside of the outer ring, on the sides that have triangle foundations, we're gonna go ahead and place a wooden fence foundation right here on the second triangle foundation in. And then on this kind of outside right here, snap point, we're going to add one Adobe pillar. We're gonna place another fence foundation right here on this triangle foundation. And again, place an Adobe pillar right here. So it should look like this. So go ahead around to every side that has the triangle foundations and do the same thing. Next, we're gonna start building up our outer wall. So here, starting on the side that is gonna have our entrance on this left foundation, we're going to place an Adobe foundation. We'll do that again right here. And then right here in the middle, we'll place an Adobe double door frame and fill that in with a greenhouse double door. And we'll place another Adobe wall here and here. Now on top of those, we're just gonna make a line of greenhouse walls. And on top of that, we're gonna make a line of Adobe railings. Moving over to one of our normal sides, we're just going to place a line of Adobe walls going across the bottom. Then we'll add a line of greenhouse walls on top of that. And then a line of Adobe railings on top of that. So now we're just going to go around the remainder of this outside part of our outer ring and do the same thing we just did right here. All right, so next here on the outside, we're gonna go ahead and add an Adobe stair right here in front of our door. And then this next part is something I'm gonna do to add a little bit of my own detail to the build. Now, if you want yours to look as close as possible to syntax, you don't have to do this, but I'm gonna go ahead and get out a thatch ceiling and place one down in front of these greenhouse walls. So just like this. And then I'm gonna get out an Adobe railing. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system so that I have something that looks like this. I'll go ahead and place that down, and this will actually be placing on the thatch ceiling. So go ahead and do that in these other four spots as well. And then just go ahead and destroy or pick up your thatch ceilings. And that'll leave you with something that looks like this. So now I'm gonna go around and do this on all 11 of the other sides.
All right, so because we're on official settings, we're gonna have to keep these foundations, but we're gonna go ahead and make the most of it. So we're gonna head in here to the side that has our door on the inside of this outer ring, and we're gonna get out an Adobe double door frame, and we're gonna be placing it right here next to this pillar. Now you may need to rotate the snap point so that you have this vibrant green color facing you. So go ahead and place that down. And then you wanna go ahead and add a sloped Adobe wall right on top of it. And it should look something like this. Head to this other side where we have this pillar and do the same thing using an Adobe sloped wall left so that it looks like this. Now go ahead and add one more Adobe double door frame right here in front of these doors. Then go ahead and add Adobe railings on these other two spots on both sides. And then just an Adobe staircase right here in front of the door. Now on our next spot over that has the normal Adobe foundations, we're gonna do the same thing on the side that we did over there with the double Adobe door frame and the sloped wall. We'll do that again over here. Now on the front of this, we're gonna go ahead and place an Adobe double door frame on this second foundation and also this second foundation. On the other three, we're gonna place Adobe railings. So it should look something like this. So now go around to every side that has the regular foundations and do the same thing. So now on these other spots where we have the triangle foundations that are still open, we're just going to place an adobe railing on all four of these. So just go around and do that on every side that has the triangle foundations. All right, so now the last thing we're gonna do here on our outer ring is we're gonna go ahead and fill in where we've placed these sloped walls. We're gonna fill in between them with sloped adobe roofs. So we'll do that first right here in front of our door, in front of our entryway. And then we'll head over to those other sides that we also placed the sloped walls. And you'll notice I have filled these areas in with Fioma. So this is kind of my way of making use out of these foundations. I've backed Fiomas in butt to butt. Right here we have those openings so you can just walk up and collect the poop. But what we're going to do is we're going to cover them up with sloped adobe roofs just like we did over there. Just to kind of tuck them away nicely inside of here. Now it's important that you place, if you want to use this for Fiomas, it's important you bring them in first and then place your roofs. Because if you do not, you won't obviously be able to fit them through that walkway. So we're going to go ahead and fill in these other portions as well. All right, so now we're gonna move on to these inner rings. Now, real quick, I'm gonna give you an example. If you want to make this look as close as possible to syntax version, I'm gonna kind of show you what you can do. So we're gonna go in here to these foundations and we're gonna get out a stone fence foundation. And we're just gonna line these foundations all the way around with stone fence foundation. So in syntax video, he was using a mod that placed kind of crop plots or like modded crop plots that placed directly on top of foundations. And with that, they kind of had like a metal rim that went around them. Now, unfortunately, metal fence foundations will not show up above the adobe foundations. So we're going to kind of use stone to get that same effect. So we'll go ahead and place this last one and there you go. So then you would just go ahead and fill that in with crop plots of your choice and you would kind of get the same effect as what Syntax had in his video. Now, if you want to use the version that I showed in the intro to this video, my version, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that next. All right, so now for my version, which will give you the 300% greenhouse effect. So I'm gonna show you how to do one of these step by step, and then I'm gonna do the other five off camera just so we can save a little bit of time. So first we're gonna go ahead and work on our pillar. So starting on this left side foundation, we're gonna place a wooden fence foundation on the side of it. And we're going to snap two Adobe pillars here to the front and three to the back. We're gonna do the same thing over here on this side foundation over here. And 
Then heading to the back side of our structure on these middle two triangle foundations, we're gonna place a wooden fence foundation. And then right here on this snap point, we're going to add two adobe pillars and we'll do the same thing right here. Now on the back side here, we're gonna go ahead and start off by placing two high greenhouse walls going all the way across this back side. Then on the sides, we'll place one greenhouse wall followed by the appropriate sloped greenhouse wall so that it faces towards the back of the build. Go ahead over to the other side and do the same thing. And then here on the fronts, we're just gonna go ahead and add one high Adobe double door frames all the way across the front. All right, so now for the roof, we're gonna start off by placing a sloped greenhouse roof right here, as well as over here on this side. And then we're gonna fill in this middle section with greenhouse triangle roofs. So first we're gonna get out one and place it right here, but we're going to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system so that it points upward like this. Go ahead and do that right here as well, and right here as well, and then go ahead and place them facing down in these gaps. Now at the top on this back side, we're going to go ahead and place a row of adobe railings going across. And we'll do that again here on the front. And then lastly, we're just going to go ahead and get out medium crop plots. And we're just going to place one right at the front in each section. And it might take a second, but you should see here starting on this first one that we should have our 300% greenhouse effect coming in on all of them. All right, so now we have one last thing to do on this portion. So here on the back side, we're gonna go ahead and place a thatch ceiling down in front of each one of these foundations. And we're also gonna place one here on this side and on the other side as well. Now on the back, we're gonna get out an adobe railing and we're again gonna rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system until you have something that looks like this. Now we're gonna add two more on top of that. Just be careful that you do not destroy the greenhouse walls. Go ahead and do this on all of these ones on the back side. And then we're going to do the same thing here on the side, except for we're only going to build it too high. And then once you have those placed, just go ahead and destroy those thatch ceilings. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start working on this next line of foundations. Now, again, if you want to get this as close as possible to syntax version, just go ahead and line these with stone fence foundations. But if you want to use my version, the first thing we're going to do is on these three Triangle foundations right here. We're going to place one high adobe double door frames, just like this. Then around the rest of this foundation, we're just going to place one high greenhouse walls. Once we have those placed, we're going to go ahead and fill in the ceiling with greenhouse triangle ceilings. And then with that all filled in, we're going to go ahead and outline this entire ceiling with adobe railings. All right, so now the last few things we're gonna do on this portion is we're gonna go in here and place a thatch ceiling down in front of each of these greenhouse walls. And this time we're gonna get out Adobe double door frames. And again, rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system until you get this one right here. Go ahead and place that down and go ahead and add another one right here. Then you can go ahead and destroy those thatch ceilings and everything will remain. Go ahead and place another one right here and do the same thing and do that two more times over here. Then with those placed, the last thing we're gonna do is head inside of here and we're gonna fill this out with small crop plots.
So now again, just go ahead and duplicate everything we just did for this portion on the other five. I'm going to go ahead and do it off camera just to save us some time. All right, so now the last part of the build that we have to work on is this final center piece. So we're going to start off by going in here to the center and we're going to build up this center area, five high adobe walls all the way around. Now that we have that done, the next thing we're gonna do is get out a wooden fence foundation and then we're gonna place one of these right here on this adobe foundation. And we're gonna place one of these on the rest of the adobe regular foundations as well. Now that we have all of those placed, go ahead and get out a large crop plot. And we're just gonna kinda line this up right here in the middle of the foundation and just go ahead and place it down and place one of these on all of the regular foundations. Next, we're gonna count four walls up and right here above the fourth wall, we're going to add an adobe ceiling. Next to that, we'll place an adobe triangle ceiling, another ceiling, and we'll just continue this pattern around. Once you have all of those placed, we're gonna go ahead and get out a sloped adobe wall. It doesn't really matter which one you use, just place one right here on one side of our adobe regular ceiling and do this on every one of our adobe regular ceilings. Now that you have all of those placed, go ahead and attach a slope adobe roof to each one of them. and then go ahead and fill in these corners with adobe triangle roofs. Then finally, at the very top of the build, go ahead and get out adobe triangle roofs again and rotate them upward so that they face like that and just go ahead and add them all the way around so they create a point. All right, so now we just have two more things to do on the center portion. So first we're gonna come in here in front of our crop plot and you'll remember we placed down those wooden fence foundations. So now on each side of that wooden fence foundation, we're going to snap four high adobe pillars. And we will just go ahead and do this in front of each of these crop plots. Now with those placed, the last thing we're gonna do is right here where we have the triangle foundation, we're just gonna place four high adobe door frames. And we're gonna do this on all of these triangle foundations. All right, guys, that is going to do it for the building portion of this video. I'm not going to show the entire process of laying all the irrigation pipes and whatnot, because quite frankly, I don't think we want to add another hour to this video. I'm going to go ahead off camera real quick and lay out some beehives and bring in some more snails and dung beetles and whatnot. So guys, hang around for one second and I will bring everything in and show you guys what this place looks like when it's full of life. All right, guys, so I've gone ahead and got all of my crops growing. I've kind of brought in some of our additional stuff and I've also brought in our additional bugs. Now, I did not place the beer barrels that he had in his video because he was only really using those to fuel a mod. And I also it was not able to obviously place those plant species X facing upside down there in the center. If you do want to include the bear barrels, you can just kind of throw them down wherever you want. But I'm just going to real quickly show you guys what I've done. Now, I didn't do any painter decorations just because I kind of wanted to keep this looking like his. Over here on the side where we have these open balconies, I just placed down a beehive on each one of those. Obviously in here we have our Fioma still and they are producing as they should. And we have feeding troughs in front of them to provide them with food. And then you'll see we have some bugs wandering around. I think most of them have kind of made their way to this outside ring, but there are a few somewhere here on the inside ring still wandering around as well. You can see here in the larger sections, we have all of our larger crops growing. 
And then in the smaller sections, we have some of our smaller crops growing. And then right here in the center, we have our plant species Z all growing right there in the center. And that pretty much does it for all of the extra stuff we've added in. All right, guys, so that is going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the build. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope it was easy for you to follow along and get this build on your arc. Guys, this was based, like I said, off of a build that Syntax did in one of his recent Let's Play videos. So if for whatever reason you're not already watching him, go ahead and check out the description below for a link to his video as well as his channel, and go check him out, guys. Also, guys, if you did enjoy the build in the video and you haven't already, do me a favor and hit that like button. Those help my videos get out there, which helps the channel grow. Go ahead and leave me some feedback in the comments below on what you think. And of course, if you're new to the channel, go check out some other build videos. And if you like what you see, subscribe for future ARC Let's Build videos. Anyways, guys, with all of that said, I just once again want to tell you thank you so much for being here today, checking out the video, and have a great day.